Hey everybody, how's it going? Kyle here with another episode of Game Time and the sort of our little mini series here on Fantastic Four Atari 2600 games. Nothing to do with the Marvel superheroes. Uh, sort of a fun little uh, side uh, series in case you haven't seen uh, our previous, uh, I believe, four episodes. I'll provide a, a link in the description to a few of those. But basically it's just a, a simple show where we uh, show off uh, some gameplay for four different uh, what I, what I think are, are pretty good Atari games, you know, we all have different opinions, but I find these games kind of fun. And uh, we've had some good ones in the past. i got a little bit of a list right here. Sorry for the shaky cam and everything. Um, yeah, on previous episodes we've done such games like uh, Yars Revenge, Infiltrate, Phoenix Haunted House, Junior Pac-Man, Berserk Moon Patrol, the, the classic Pitfall 2, uh, Circus Atari, and, and Kaboom which uh, a lot of those games I really enjoy. So definitely check those out, and we have another edition right here. On today's episode, we're going to be showing off a few minutes of gameplay from each of these following games. Kind of some fun choices here today. Activision's Spider Fighter, sort of a kind of a shoot 'em up type game, but uh, a little bit more Space Invaders because the uh, enemies on screen actually come kind of from the left and right uh, sides of the screen. So kind of a unique twist on that. Next, we move over to Turmoil. Definitely, uh, <laughs> this one's pretty addicting. It's a little frantic at times. Uh, I can't really describe it too well, so we'll have to see how it plays out. But you can kind of see a screenshot from there. It's, uh, it's a pretty crazy game. Next, we move over to Lost Luggage. I'm showing off this one because I think it's... Uh, I'm a big fan of Kaboom. I think a lot of us are, are... At least have heard of it or at least seen it in action. Maybe played a round or two. Kaboom's just a fantastic game where you kind of catch bombs in a pool. This one's very, very similar to that, so that's why I'm kind of showcasing this one. I thought uh, for anyone who is a big Kaboom fan, uh, like myself, will definitely enjoy Lost Luggage. Not quite as good, of course, but uh, a fun game in its own right. And uh, the last game we'll take a look at is Tutankhamun, or Tutankhamun, depends on how you want to pronounce it. I believe it's Tutankhamun, although it's King Tut, uh, whatever. But a, a very fun adventure game here on the Atari 2600. There's different versions of this game. It came out for various other systems, and some of those versions definitely look and play better. Unfortunately, I don't have them in my collection as of this time, but I do have this one for the Atari, and I think it's still pretty fun on the Atari. It's a fun little adventure game. Nothing too special there, but uh, definitely worth showing off because this is a, a fantastic adventure game, and definitely a, a pretty ambitious game for the Atari. So enough of this introduction. Let's, uh, let's play some games. Alright, our first game is from Activision before they pumped out Call of Duty every year. It's a little game called Spider Fighter 1983. I kind of like this one uh, as opposed to some other uh, sort of shooters because you actually, the enemies pretty much go left and right. It's actually more of a Space Invaders type thing, but the, it's obviously a little more souped up a little bit. you got to get these egg uh, characters, and uh, once you hit them, they hatch into spiders, and they become a little bit more fierce, like that one on the screen there. A little more fierce. I always like how the bullets kind of follow your ship around, like, you know, you, you can't fire them right there, they kind of follow you around on screen, like so. It's, I always found that a little weird, I don't know if it's, I don't know. I find it a little bit easier, rather than just having the bullets just shoot straight ahead. You can kind of follow, follow the path that you're taking. In some ways it makes it kind of easy, but... And sound quality, of course, it sounds very much like an Atari 2600 game. Oh, I'm not hitting anything here. And there's where they hatch and become some spiders. You get bonuses for a perfect round. I don't know how I survived that one, but... But this is a game I always, uh, always enjoy, I think. It's kind of a, a unique uh, game. Not necessarily one of the greatest, but definitely uh, one that I think is overlooked, and not a lot of people will, will be familiar with Spider Fighter on the Atari, so definitely one worth checking out. I want to do something here real quick. I'm going to put it on Expert here on the Atari, and start it on Expert C, if, if that makes... Okay, my bullets still kind of go with the ship, so I thought maybe that was a novice thing, but... Expert's a lot more frantic. I kind of like it. I'm a fan of that. So yeah, that is 
Spider Fighter for the Atari 2600 from Activision. Alright, ladies and gents, the next game up we are going to play is a game called Turmoil. This is uh, actually a very addicting game. Basically, as you can see kind of from the title screen, it's going a lot faster than the game normally goes. But you're the ship in the middle, and the goal is to shoot the uh, oncoming enemies coming from the, the sides of the screen there. Um, and push them back. Some enemies like that pink thing, you know, of course, shooting them many times. You just got to push them back off the screen. It's kind of fun. So let's play a game of turmoil. Alright, round one. Look at that, that's such an Atari game right there. You gotta shoot those little dots like it did on the bottom right away before they hatch. They just turn into this one giant little speedball. Makes it really hard to hit. I just walked right into that one. I watched that one on the bottom. See, that's a lot harder to get now. So They just get harder as uh, the stages progress. It is sort of a stage-based game. I keep walking into that thing. I'm going to go up here. Look at that. If that doesn't scream, it's sorry. I don't know what does. can't actually shoot that lane that's in. you got to be quick on the draw on that one. Got that right away there. Really gotta take care of those little uh, speed balls right away because once they, uh, you get a lot more of them in your lane, or in various lanes, it becomes rather tricky. Stage three. I can see uh, enemies kind of popping up a lot more there. The uh, oh, I'm, oh, that was scary. It's not so much going up and down the uh, the center that's the hard part. It's kind of twisting and turning because they show up on both sides of the screen. So you kind of have to constantly turn left and right. But again, we are seeing the you know the first couple of stages here in the game. Here's where those things come in. You can't really push. You got to shoot them from behind because you can't get them um, when they're facing front. There. Oh, so we're until ignoring those little. Key balls now, they're really popping up. Oh, I w walked right into that lane. But yeah, that's basically the idea of Turmoil. I think it's just kind of a, a fun, frantic game. Yeah, I get those pink things from behind. And different uh, enemy characters have sort of a different personality, so... All in all, yeah, a fantastic game. If you're able to find one, it is uh, highly recommended, I think, for the Atari. I think the one that just killed me there, you can shoot. That one, you, I don't think you can shoot from the front, so. But yeah, just sound effects, looks, and everything. Just totally uh, a great Atari game, I think. Alright, third up is a little game called Lost Luggage. Like I mentioned in the uh, intro there, one of my f top five uh, Atari games is easily the game Kaboom, where you're kind of playing as uh, pools, if you will, on the bottom of the screen, catching bombs dropped by uh, a robber. This game is uh, very, very similar to that, and now we're playing as uh, two, I, I guess, air, what do you want to call those, runway, uh, runway boys there. Planes are flying by, and they're losing their luggage. You can see the luggage kind of dropping from the runway there in the background. And your goal is to collect all the lost luggage very much like uh, Kaboom, one of my other favorite games. That's why I'm kind of showing this one off and kind of recommending that, because I think a lot of us really like Kaboom. And uh, this game's very similar. Of course, it's not, not quite as good, 
but the idea is still the same. And there's a good challenge in here too. Um, if you're on the bottom of the screen, uh, the luggages as they come down, they really spread out wide like you can see there. So you actually kind of, my, my helpful hint is to kind of stay in the middle so you can get the luggages when they're oh not so spread out along the screen here. Once they get past sort of a certain point, they really spread out far and wide. As you can see here, now the game's really picking up. Here's where it becomes a, a nice little challenge. So, yeah, my, my helpful hint is always to kind of stay in the middle. That way you can kind of pick those log, luggages up right away. And if you have to kind of run down there at the last moment like I just did right there, it gives you at least a, a second or so to kind of move up and down the screen. Now they're really flying around. So we lost one there. <laughs> Which is funny because once uh, a luggage touch touches the uh, little green box or space at the bottom of the screen, they all open up and you reveal combs and pants and lingerie. It's kind of funny. So, one thing I'm not a one thing I'm not a fan of is uh, there's that little space in between your guys there, and and uh, the luggages can easily go through them. So. There's another, some lost luggage. We'll try one more round here. I think this game would really benefit from the uh, the paddle uh, controllers. This is, of course, using a standard Atari joystick. So it's a little tr tricky, especially the joystick itself is a little, kind of a little sticky or a little stiff for this game. So it kind of makes it a little bit... Uh, harder than it should be, especially with these later levels here when we're trying to see, I couldn't get down there in time. But uh, all in all, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Kaboom, like I said, easily a top game, and Lost Luggage is, oh, yep, that's it. So we got 1624 there. Lost Luggage, I think, is another game very similar to it, and, and one I also uh, very much enjoy. All right, our last uh, game we're going to take a look at here on our Fantastic Four Atari games is a little game called Tutankhamen. Tutankhamen, I think, you know, Tut King Tut, but I believe that it is pronounced Tutankhamen. Kind of a fun game. Uh, there's different versions of this game for various systems. The Atari 2600 version is, uh, it, it's not that good compared to maybe some of the other um, versions. Uh, I think the Coleco version, which was the superior console for the time, has a, a much better version. I'm going to have to track that down. But for now, I only have the Atari version, and that's what we're going to be playing. It's a, it's a really fun game. I'm letting kind of time tick down, but we'll restart it here. Basically, we're exploring some Egyptian pyramids. We're the little fat guy here with the hat, and we're going around this pyramid um, collecting some treasures. So there'll be enemies that spawn various uh, spawn points there. We do have a pistol, so we can shoot left and right. Of, of enemies that are attacking us. One thing I really don't like about this game is sort of an automatic movement. Like, for example, here's the joystick here. If I go down, I'm not even touching the joystick, and then my character is sort of moving on his own. So I'm not a big fan of that, but if you can get by that, I think it's kind of a fun, uh, a fun adventure game, if you will. So I'm going to restart it here and see how far we can get. So we're going to go down here. There'll be an enemy that's going to spawn there. There's a snake. See, and there's where the movement is getting kind of tricky right off the bat here. I'm just going to wait until they spawn. There we go. Go back. Shoot the scorpion. Get the snake. That was close. Here's a little crown. It looks like a little ring down here. So our necklace. Snakes are chilling there on the left side, so I think we'll be okay. Okay, oh, looks like a little bat there. Enemies kind of follow us on screen, and it always is unfortunate we can only shoot left or right. So I'm not sure if uh, in other versions of the game um, you can shoot in more than just left or right, but I just have this version of the game, and we can only go left or right. Oh, Walk right there. So when you get killed, you do get a, a certain uh, checkpoint here. Uh, play through it one more time. Get a little bit further. Now that I'm not kind of... Distracted by talking about the game here. Oh, jeez, that bat flew up there pretty quick. Let's 
stupid snake. But yeah, luckily the checkpoints are never too far away, so when you get uh, hit, you never spawn uh, way back or way at the top of the pyramid. However you want to look at it, I guess. Oh! Ah, dang it. I'm, I was stuck on that one. So yeah, that's basically Tutankhamun. I didn't have a very good round at all. There's a, and, and of course it's more of a level-based game. Once you get further down, it gets a little bit tricky, and, and later levels get pretty challenging as well. So this is a game I really do like, though, and, and I actually am pretty pretty good at this. I can get a couple of stages in. But yeah, Tutankhamun, this is the Atari 2600 version. Not the best, but uh, it's the only one uh, version of this game I have in the collection. So I thought I'd show it off because it's definitely a unique game. It's a fun adventure, and it's actually a, a fun game all in all once you get pretty good at it. So it does come recommended. Um, yeah, I'm done. I can't move here. So that will do it. Thanks for joining uh, your pal Cal here on another Fantastic Four Atari 2600 games. That makes 20 now. So definitely leave a comment on some uh, games for the Atari that you think is just fantastic. Maybe we'll get to cover them on future episodes. Or uh, definitely leave a comment and see what uh, your favorite game out of these four were. So always enjoy hearing from all of you. And as always, we'll uh, see you in the next video. So stay classic. Have a good day.